शुक्ला ब्रह्म विचार सार परमाद्याम जगद्व्यानी क्रीड़ा पुस्तकधारिणी अभयदा जाड्यांधकारापस्ते स्फाटिमालिका विदधती पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदेता परमेशरी भगवती बुद्धि प्रदा शारदा न्वा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धा गुम्यां कौम्यह पाणिनीय प्रवेशाय लघु सिद्धांत कौमी So the last sutra we saw was Mukha Nasika Vachanu Nasika. Before that, we saw this Ucche Rudattaha, Niche Rudattaha, Samara Swarita, and thereby we saw the categories of uh, tones, intonations that are added to the Varnas, and thereby Varna Bheda is created. There are varieties of Varnas. So, based on the Swara, and this, the Swara of the Swara, Swara is a vowel. Ach is a swara, uh, swara varna, swara varna and here swara is udatta, anudatta, swarita swara. These are the uh, different bhedas of intonations and thereby the uh, earlier categorized hraswa dirga prutha, uh, hraswa, hraswa, a short vowel, jirga, a longer vowel and prutha is a, uh, is something used to call out or call out a person which is Trimatrika, basically Raswa is Ekamatrika, Dirgha is Dimatrika and Pluta is Trimatrika. That kind of an Ach which is divided into three, that is further divided into three more each by sw their Swaras, their intonations by Udatta, Anudatta and Swarita. Thereby you get nine types and then further Anunasika and Anunas Anunasika, whether they are nasalized or not, based on that, then there is further division twice. So 9 into 2, you will get 18. And somebody uh, told me after the uh, last class that I uh, had a slip of tongue. And I was saying that the uh, I is Hraswa or Ru is Dirga, something. I mixed up uh, and there was a slip of tongue in continuation. So I'll just make a correction if uh, there is some confusion. In the end, we saw that uh, Mukha, Mukha Nasika Vachano Nasika. What is Anunasika? Anunasika is Mukha and Nasika Vachana. Mukha Sahita. So Mukha nasi, Sahita na, Nasikaya Ucharyavana Varnaha Anunasika Sanyaha Syat. That which is pronounced not only through the mouth, but through the nose, through the nose and through nasalization of that uh, whatever is pronounced, that letter, Ucce Marnaha Varnaha, that Varnaha letter which is pronounced using the nose as well by nasalization is called Anunasika. And Ananunasika will be non-nasalized. So there is Dvidha, there is a two-fold two division now that nasalized and non-nasalized letter. Tadittham, A, E, U, R, Esham, Varnanam. Of the first four, A, E, U, and Ru of these vowels, these are what? There are Pratyekam Ashtadasha Bhedaha. There are 18, uh, 18 Bhedas which we saw. So, A, E, U, each will have Raswa Dirga Pluta, thereby they will become 9. And then each of them will have, uh, so A, E, U, A, A, each of A will be what? A, E, U would be 3, and then uh, udatta, Anudatta and Swarita, those Swarabhedas will make it 9. So E will also be 9, U will be 9, Ru will be 9. Further they will be Anunasika and Ananunasika, nasalized, non-nasalized and thereby each of them will be 18. Ru Varnasya Dvadasha, Tasya Dhirgha Bhavat. Ru does not have Dhirgha Ru but it has a Pluta. So there is a Raswa and Pluta, thereby there will be only 12. There will be only 12 because each of them will have uh, udatta, Anudatta and Swarita Bheda. Thereby they will become 6 and then 6 into 2 because nasalized and non-nasalized thereby you will get 12. Similarly, there will be Dvadasha for H. H will also be Dvadasha. A, O, I and O will be will also be 12 
because there is no haswa for them. So this is the correction. The last time I was rushing up and down and then I may have said that. I thought I said it once but then someone told me that I, I said it thrice. So that slip of tongue uh, continued. So I'm making correction if you made a note of that. I'm assuming that most of you know this but uh, just to be accurate. So that covered the variety of vowels and there are some letters also which will have letters as in they are semi vowels so they'll also have these uh, bhedas we'll see as we go next sutra says tulyasya prayatnam savarnam tulyasya prayatnam savarnam sanya sutra what is the sanya here savarnam savarna is the name given savarna they are they have the same varna they'll be categorized into having a same uh, so the varna has the same category rather savarnam what is that? Tulya, Tulya, Tulyasya Prayatnam. Tulyasya Prayatnam is, is one Prathama Ekvachana. Savarnam is also Prathama Ekvachana. Ekvachana. And Tulyasya is one Pada. So there are only two Padas. Tulyasya Prayatnam, Savarnam. Savarnam is a Sanya. What is Asya? Tulya is same. Same or similar. Asya and Prayatna. You see these three divisions here tulya asya and prayatna in the compound there are three padas tulya asya and prayatna tulya we know is that which is similar common and asya is what asya is asya mukhe bhavam asyam it is a taddita taddita vritti asya bhavam asyam that is the vritti that which is present in the asya that is asyam and asya is what so it is not Swarte, Asya is taking some Pratya, you don't see the change in form, but Asya itself is Asya Bhavam Asyam. And Asya is Mukhe, in the Mukha. So Asya is equal to Mukha, that Prayatna, that, that which is made, that effort, Prayatna means effort. Yatna means effort, we will see what is the Pra here. Prakrushta Yatna, Prayatna. What is Prakrushta, we will see later. But Asya is what? Mukha that which is pronounced in the mouth everything is pronounced in the mouth but then it begins in the mouth mukhe bhavam that which is present in the mukha that is that is uh, uh, that is asyam okay so uh, i don't know which sutra patha you would be looking at but uh, uh, there will be there may be bhedas in the sutras so uh, earlier if we have seen 8 then this is 9 okay then this is 9 so there is uh, uh, I, I'll just mention here that uh, across sutra pathas there may be a change in numbers here it may not be it's a typo but then across sutra pathas there may be an, uh, an off by 2 or so there may be more also generally one off generally between Laghu and Kashika there may be one off uh, sutra bheda between uh, Medhaji's book and uh, the book I recommended, there may be one of Vedas, sometimes two. Uh, what happens is that uh, the sutra is combined at some places or split at some places and thereby there are multiple numbers. So there may be a difference. Uh, but anyway, uh, here it is not. Here uh, there was a typo. So this is a tenth. This number is the Laghu Sutra number and this is the Ashtadhe Sutra number. So 10th Sutra says Tulyasya Prayatnam Savarnam. Savarna Sanya is for what? That which has Prayatna which is Tulya. Not only Prayatna but Asya also is uh, Tulya. So Asya and Prayatna should be Tulya. What is Asya? Mukhe Bhavam. Asya Bhavam Asyam and Asya is equal to Mukhe. So here Asya Bhavam, here Asya is equal to Mukhe in the mouth. What, whatever is the Sthana. So Mukhe Bhavam is Thana, where the tongue uh, not really touches, may or may not touch, but the, where the Sthana of the tongue is around that area, that is called as, that area would be called as Sthana, and that is Asya is Asya Bhavam Asyam, Mukhe Bhavam Asyam, and that is that Sthana. Prakrushta Yatnaha Prayatna. There are two types of Yatnas. Yatnas efforts, when you pronounce something, there are two types of efforts. One is inside the mouth, one is outside the mouth. So that 
for example nasalization when you nasalize it the nose is outside the mouth although it affects the pronunciation of the letter made through the mouth still the prayatna is outside you are going to nasalize means you are going to constrict your nose thereby the nasalization effort is outside this is an example so that is one yatna and other yatna is done inside whatever effort you make while pronouncing a word uh, a letter that that prayatna that is called as that is also yatna but here prayatna is only that yatna which is internal prakrushtah prakrushtah yatnah prayatna so among the bahya uh, yatnah and antara yatnah abhyantara yatnah there are two yatnas which yatna should we take here here we should take the the internal effort therefore abhyantara yatna is abhyantara yatna and here that is called as prayatna not the bahya yatna but abhyantara yatna prayatna so prakrushta yatna it is that which is preceded therefore prakrushta before the external effort the internal effort has to go by therefore it is prakrushta and prakrushta yatna is prayatna abhyantara prayatna that is the meaning here equal to abhyantara prayatna so now we have two things mukhe bhavam asye mukhe bhavam asyam and prayatna which is abhyantara prayatna both of these should be tulya across letters when they are tulya across letters between a and b a and b as in just place holders x and y let's say x and y between x and y how will you they say how will you say that they are savarna they are savarna only when the asya of the uh, x and y is same as well as the prayatna is same for x and y both should be same abhyantara prayatna and asyam should be same then what will happen that those two letters will be will get savarna sanya mutually mutually they will be savarna asyam cha prayatna cha asya prayatno and savarna sanya by introducing this what uh, maharshi is doing is that later in the sutras when he says savarna somewhere he uses savarna then we know what is savarna savarna would be then savarna may be an adesha he may say purva savarna or para savarna what is purva savarna parva sav para savarna how do we know purva we know earlier and para we know later so if an adesha or an uh, an ordain ordainment is given an injunction is given by the sutra rule says what uh, purva savarna is the adesha that you replace something with purva savarna then in a sandhi situation purva savarna adesha is the earlier purva savarna whatever is the savarna of the purva letter that will be the replacement maybe for both maybe for one maybe for uh, the other the later it can be anything based on the sutra but wherever savarna sanya is used there it will mean that the asya and prayatna should be similar should be same not similar here it will be same so asyam cha prayatna cha asya prayatna it's a itara itara dvandva that is the meaning of tulya asya prayatna tulya tulya asya prayatna when asya and prayatna are tulya then they will be mitha savarna mitha savarna is they will be mutually called as savarna of each other so here the vritti reads talvadi sthanam abhyantara prayatnascha iti etad dvayam yasya yena tulyam tan mita savarna sanyam syat this is the sutra artha talvadi sthanam talvadi sthanam is what talu talu adi esham te talvadi or talu uh, adi hi yasya yasya Uh, the the group the group which has talu as uh, as adi and really talu talu means the uh, where you have the chavarga uchcharana so palate the palate but the counting does not really start from the palate it starts from kantha it starts from kantha and then talu and so on murdha and then all the five sthanas that we have you will have uh, and based on this you have these uh, vargas ka varga ka varga is kantha cha varga has talu then ta varga has murdha then ta varga has dantya dantasthana then pa varga has oshtasthana so talvadi would be what 
Kalwadi is actually counting the second. Here, really, uh, it should have been says Kanthadi. Really, it should have been Kanthadi because Kavarga is the first one and Kantha is the first sthana, Ucharana sthana, which is Asya. Ante, uh, asya Mukhe Bhava, that which is inside the mouth. So, Kantha is inside the mouth, Talu is inside the mouth, the uh, uh, Murtha is inside the mouth, then uh, uh, Danta is inside the mouth and Oshta is inside the mouth. Therefore, Talwadi sthanam is Asyam. That is Asyam. And here, why he said Talwadi, we do not know. It is uh, the indirectly interpreted by uh, the Talwadi itself as Samasa. As a Panchami Tatpurusha, it is taken that before that Talu, before Talu is Kantha. And then uh, there is a repetition done to include Kantha also. Or he, understand the meaning as Kanthadi. Here Talwadi is Kanthadi Sthanam. All the five Sthanas which are inside the mouth, Asya Sthanas, are included here in this Asya. So Asya is Talwadi Sthanam. What is Prayatna? Abhyantara Prayatnascha. Abhyantara Prayatnascha, the effort made inside. And this will be described. To describe what is the effort made inside. All this is going to come in this Sutra. Talwadi Sthanam Abhyantara Prayatnascha Iti Etad Dvayam. Iti Etad Dvayam. These two. These two the duet, the duet of Asyam and Prayatna is common. Dvayam yasya yena tulyam, yasya yena saha, yasya yena saha tulyam, yasya varnasya yena varnena saha tulyam, which is common, which is common across two letters. Those two letters are what? Tan mitas savarnam syat. Both of these, those, those two become mitha savarana. Mitha is mutually. Mitha is mutually, they will become savarana. Not only x is equal to savarana of y, but y will also become savarana of x. That is the sanya. Okay. So, that's the uh, prayatna and yet, uh, prayatna and asya. There is a vartika here. We will uh, revisit this vartika in a while, which says, Ruru Varnayur Mita Savarnam Vachyam. It should have been said this uh, sutra does not cover uh, the Ru and Ru Varna. Ru Varna and Ru Varna are treated as savar, uh, having Savarna Sanya. They are both are Savarna of each other. When you say Ru in the sutra, it includes Lu, and when Lu is said in the uh, sutra, Ru is included. Therefore, uh, if you go only by this sutra, if you go only by the sutra, this will not be, Ru will not be Savarna of Ru and Lu will not be Savarna of Ru. But the Maharshi himself treats it as Savarna elsewhere. And thereby, we understand that he takes them as Savarna, not by the sutra, but he takes them. And thereby, a Vartika is there. So, in the Sampradaya, uh, we say Munitrayam. There are three Munis we take. And... First Muni is Panini Maharshi, who is the Sutra Kara. Second is the Vartika Kara, Katyayana. Katyayana, who is the Vartika Kara. Vartika is usually something which is written on the Bhashya. So you have uh, uh, Sutras, then you have Bhashya, and then you have Vartika. In, for example, in Advaita Vedanta Sampradaya, Vartika Kara is Sureshwaracharya. Bhashya Kara is Shankaracharya, Adi Shankaracharya. And Sutra Kara is Vyasa, Badharana Vyasa. So, Bhashya is written on the sutras, then Vartika is written on the Bhashya, usually. That is what the definition of Vartika is. But in the Vyakrana Sampradaya, the Panini Maharshi wrote the sutras, wrote as in he created the sutras. I am saying wrote, but it is not really wrote. He created it and it was Karana Sampradaya. Vartika was written on this, this sutra. And Vartika Kara, what he does, wherever he sees that uh, this, uh, the sutras are not covering the complete idea, then he elaborates further by adding something like a sutra. He extends that. Although it is uh, understood from Panini Maharshi himself, uh, the way he has written other works or other sutras, all these are derived. So Vartika is an extension. What is not covered or what is not clear in the sutra, it is extended, that is the Vartika. And on this, Patanjali Maharshi wrote the Bhashya. That Bhashya is called as Mahabhashya. And uh, Shankaracharya, Adi Shankaracharya is called as a Bhashyakara because his style is 
ಲೈಕ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಪತಂಜಲಿ ಹು ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಮಹಾಭಾಷ್ಯಕಾರ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಗಂಭೀರ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ಇವನ್ ಪತಂಜಲಿ ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಮಹಾಭಾಷ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಗಂಭೀರ ಅಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟೈಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಆದಿ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಇನ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ಆನ್ ಪ್ರಸ್ಥಾನತ್ರಯ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಗಂಭೀರ ಹೀಸ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಪ್ರಸನ್ನ ಗಂಭೀರ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾರ್ತಿಕ ಇಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಮಹಾಭಾಷ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ಮಹಾಭಾಷ್ಯ ಎನಲೈಸಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡನ್ whether there is some aropa made something is pointed out as wrong all these are resolved in the mahabhashya and we say in the sampradaya in any sampradaya it is an uttar uttar muni nam pramanyam so whoever is the final muni in this three munis in the munitraya the final statement will hold good because we learn from them in the tradition we learn we do not know as to what tulyasa prayatnam savarnam means that is explained by the sampradaya so we are thankful to the vartika kara who says ru ruru varnayor mita savarnam vachyam he should have said that he should have said this in this sutra otherwise across the sutra it will not be covering the idea uh, unless each of them are analyzed as to what is the mind of panini maharshi and further mahabhashya kara analyzes it and then he gives his final verdict as to Uh, what he thinks it is uh, generally he does not give a verdict per se he'll say this is what is said here this is what is said here and he'll analyze all that and thereby it becomes a pramana and whatever is said last that will hold good because it is an explanation of the earlier teacher in the sampradaya uttarottar muni muni nam pramanyam so compared to panini maharshi sutra if one is interpreting that way no it should not be taken as that is the interpretation whatever has been explained in the by the acharya who follows who is the next muni uh, katyayana whatever katyayana rishi says that has to be taken as pramana and further even if that there is an apparent contradiction there that is resolved by mahabhashyakara and mahabhashyakara what he says he should be that should be taken as pramana so here we'll revisit what this rulu varnayo mithasavarnam vachyam means but before that we'll see the stana etc ಅಕುಹ ವಿಸರ್ಜನೀಯ ಕಂಠ ಇಚು ಯಶ ತಾಲು ಋತುರಶಾಂ ಮೂರ್ಧ ಋತುಲಸ ದಂತ ಉಪೂಪದ್ಮೀಯ ಪೋಷ್ಟೌ ನ್ಯಮಗಣಾಸಿ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದೀಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಉಕುಹ ವಿಸರ್ಜನೀಯ ಕಂಠ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಥಾನ ನಾವು ವಾಟ್ ಹಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಸೋ ಫಾರ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ತಾಲ್ವಾದಿ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಭ್ಯಂತರ ಪ್ರಯತ್ನ these are the two things which are to be understood now to see as to what can be the savarna of another or mutually they can be savarna of each other to know that we have to understand what is asya and what is what is prayatna asya is sthana and those sthanas are been described now asya is been described as akuha visarjaniya nam kantha these are the, what are called as shiksha sutras yes shiksha vyakrana or you have also shiksha as a vedanga and in that shiksha is what how how something should be pronounced it is a shastra of that and in the sampradaya it is taught in vedika sampradaya how the how the veda uchcharan has to be done how anunasika should be pronounced how anarunasika should be pronounced how a swara but udatta anudatta should be pronounced and similarly what are the stanas we we say that ka var ka varga you know ka kha ga ga nya so this in the varga panchama people do not lot of people have trouble pronouncing the varna uh, the varna panchama varga panchama not varna panchama varga panchama varga is a class ka ka varga pa varga ka varga cha varga ta varga ta varga pa varga all these five vargas have a varga prathama first of the class second of the class third of the class fourth of the class and fifth of the class fifth of the class is actually nasalization the same same sthana is nasalized so ka varga you will have nya in the varga panchama and so on we'll see those akuha visarjaniya nam kantha so kantha is what kantha is the sthana at the throat you pronounce it the constriction of the uh, the voice the air which is which comes out the effort which is taken inside in that the air which comes comes out where is it constricted to to sound a letter out that is the sthana and this is kantha 
फॉर वॉट अ कु एंड विसर्जनीय सो लेट्स टेक दम सेपरेटली सो अकुह विसर्जनीय नाम इफ यू सी अकुह विसर्जनीय कंठ दिस इज वॉट अ कु एंड विसर्जनीय विसर्जनीय मीन्स विसर्ग विसर्जनीय नाम षष्टी बहुवचन षष्टी बहुवचन कंठ इज दि स्थान और हास्य हास्य मीन्स वॉट कंठ दि प्लेस ऑफ प्रोनाउंसिएशन एंड वॉट इज अ वी नो इज अ वॉवेल अ बट अ इज वॉट अ इज दैट विच विल इन्क्लूड ऑल दी एटीन वेराइटीज नॉट ओनली अ बट अ आ एंड आ ह्रस्व दीर्घ प्लुत देन दि उदात्त अनुदात्त स्वरित भेद देर बाय नाइन एंड देन अनुनासिक एंड अनुनासिक नेजरलाइज एंड नॉन नेजरलाइज ऑल्सो देर बाय एटीन या दीज आर दीज आर नॉट रियली सूत्र पर से एज अ पार्ट ऑफ सूत्र पाठा बट दीज आर वॉट अ शिक्षा सूत्र दे आर सूत्र बट दे आर कॉल्ड एज शिक्षा सूत्र so akuha visarjaniyam kanta because it is easier to remember otherwise uh, if we don't know this then we we know how to pronounce it by somehow we make do nobody teaches in school in modern schools we don't know how to pronounce the teacher says something they themselves don't know how to make a differentiation of sh sh and sa they then varga panchama we see all nya nya everything sounds same so here it is uh, uh, said as what is this thana how to pronounce it how to pronounce is where is this thana where the prayatna should be so this makes the uchcharanam shuddha and that is the reason the language is called as sanskritam samyak krutam it is well created and samyak is the, this is it, that there is a well defined way of how to pronounce there are a lot of people who don't know how to pronounce r r they don't know how to pronounce re pha also they don't know how to pronounce something they get by but with this you know where exactly the pronunciation is and if you learn these sutras and try to follow them then the uchcharana becomes shuddha your uh, chanda will become shuddha when you are chanting something say vishnu sahasrana or something you will know that the chanda falls in place you don't make errors there is no one less or one extra matra and falling out of sync and uchcharana is shuddha and thereby uh, you get the, the right amount of punya rather because samyak krutam is that sanskritam is samyak krutam that samyakta what is samyakta kim what is the samyakta ka what is it that is pronunciation which brings that punya because it is all vaidika it has come from it is apaurushya the language itself is uh, has come from vedas and here we see vyakarana has come from the damru of shiva therefore it will uh, the right pronunciation of even laukika language sanskrita will bring punya therefore it is संस्कृतम सम्यक कृतम अकुह विसर्जनीय कंठ सो फॉर दीज लेटर्स देर इज स्थान इज कंठ वॉट इज वॉट आर दीज लेटर्स अ अ मीन्स ऑल एटीन वेराइटीज ऑफ अ आ एंड देन दी थ्री स्वराज इंटोनेशन एंड दी नेजलाइजेशन एंड नॉन नेजलाइजेशन वॉट इज कू दिस विल बी सेट फर्दर वॉट इज कू ब्रीफली कू कू चू टू टू एंड पू these are five uh, classes so who is a short form we'll see by sutra anu this savarnasya cha pratyaya that sutra will come next that sutra will make this ku as what ku to stand for k kh g gh and nya all five so k varga this means any k varga letter all five in k varga letter they will be what they their sthana is kantha akara akara as in not only akara a uh, if i say akara that will mean only hraswa a uh, but a uh, without any takar taparakarana we saw taparakaranam i mentioned it taparakaranam is just shorting that uh, shorting or restricting that letter to only its own matra if you say a uh, it is it is completely open as in it will include all its savarna all its 18 bhedas but if you say at takara is added at then it will stand only for the akara only the hraswa akara if you say at then at will mean only akara not akara not akara not pluta not hraswa 
only dhirgha so that that is called as tapara karanam tapara karanam is putting that takara para after the letter which, which has to be limited to its own matra but here it does not say at it is not at it is a therefore all 18 varieties ku means all the varga letter of ka varga this is ku is a short form and actually it is aku aku this will be u it will be it will be there will be an anunasika there ha so a uh, ha is what ha is hakara that's all hakara a uh, is for uchcharana here we are seen uh, even the hayavar sutra akara is for uchcharana here also this it only means the ha consonant hakara so what are these these and visarga the visarga which is used their sthana is kantha so when you say a uh, where is the prayatna if you see where is the sorry where is the sthana the sthana of uchcharana is a uh, is from the kantha ka kh ga ga nya is from the kantha ha is from the kantha and visarga you say rama rama you say that rama ha or rama the hakara and visarga have a similar pronunciation sometimes you hear half of the hakara as visarga and sometimes ardha visarga itself is heard that is all sthana is kantha akua visarjaniya nam kantha what is the next sthana ichu yasha nam talu ichu yasha nam e ikara not only ikara no not only to that hraswa ikara but ikara ikara and ikara all the 18 bhedas akara ikara ukara and rukara have 18 bhedas so all these 18 of e are included by e and e chu chu is cha varga e chu yasha nam y and sh shakara shankar shakara all these are what this tana is talu talu is a palate so you pronounce e chu y sh so if you want to know just place the ikara where you pronounce ikara don't move the tongue the tongue has to be there here also wherever your tongue is you hold it there wherever the sthana is in the mouth you hold that tongue there when you say a and there itself you try to say k k varga k kh ga a a k kh ga g k kh ga g ng h v and visarga visarga is a rama a so you say a k h and a where that is that is kantha you do not move the tongue then you will get the exact sthana similarly e where you do ichar uchcharana e there itself the cha varga should be uttered without moving the tongue e e chu moving the tongue as in uh, it should not shift from there for whatever pronunciation changes are needed you make them but e e where you utter e there itself you have to utter the cha varga yakara and shakara shankar shakara That is a talavya shakara. So we will say the shakara is talavya shakara. Shankara is talavya shakara. Ichu yasha nam talu. So talu is neuter. Therefore, you don't see any visarga or anything. Talu, talu, talu ni, talu ni. That's how it will decline. Like madhu in neuter. Rutu rasha nam murtha. So what is the difference between this shakara, shanamuk shakara, and shankar shakara? This is the difference. Sana is different. Murtha. ru ru is a vowel ru ri ru tu ta varga ta varga ta th da dh na ra re pha and shanmukh shakara sh murdha so wherever the tongue is at ru tu ru ra and sh that tongue should not move that is murdha it is the uh, the murdha the top of the mouth so where you have that that is the murdha that's where the tongue touches murdha then rutilasa nam danta so dental at the so la where, where do you say la the tongue touches the top row of the teeth behind the top row of the teeth that is li li and ta varga also ta tu is ta varga ta tha da dha na then la also is pronounced there sakara the dantya sakara is pronounced there sakara the tongue should touch the back side of the teeth upper row of the teeth here talu is what the e e is actually the tongue the, the tip of the tongue is not touching the top of the tip of the tongue just behind the tongue but at the top that kind of touches the palate which is at the the becomes above the upper row of the teeth so e chu you the, the tongue is not really touching 
it is folded as though and the just behind the tongue the top portion is at the palate that is talu and here murdha is what root you see the top of the tongue the the bottom side of the tongue is really touching the murdha what touches is the not the tip of the tongue even it is kind of folded backwards and the uh, that part of the tongue just the behind the tip of the tongue at below the tip of the tongue is touching the top of the mouth this is again we let's take this separately so u this is upu upu padmaniya nam oshtav this is pu and then upadmaniya so this ukara and this ukara this ukara of pu and ukara of upadmaniya make a savarna dirgha and then then pu becomes pu so upu padmaniya is upu u is u the all the 18 varieties of pu and then pu is pa varga pa pa bha bha ma then upadmaniya 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 is this you'll see whatever the pakara or pakara or phakara which is followed uh, preceded by a visarga how do you pronounce this generally people separate this visarga out and separate the pakara in uh, in language in general uh, sentences it's okay but in a mantra or in a uh, sutra or in a uh, pada of a shloka this visarga should not be separated from pakara or phakara it should be pronounced together and what is the pronunciation so if you see words like punah punah people say punah 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 you can say when you are reading a sentence but if it is in a uh, shloka or a mantra or a sutra then punah punah would be what not punah 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 this pakara this visarga and pakara is pronounced as there is the only place where pa is pronounced as pa in the hindi you say fool fool that you say or fal that phakara is pronunciation is there but this phakara this phakara is not pronounced as fa in hindi or urdu it is pronounced like that but how is this pronounced phakara with a maha prana you use more prana that is phakara not phakara phakara but the only place where you see this is upadmaniya this particular thing is this visarga here this visarga here is called as upadmaniya visarga uh, it is not a upadmaniya visarga that visarga is called as upadmaniya so that visarga which precedes the pakara or phakara and they put together both of them are pronounced as punah 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 that is the pronoun that is called as upadmaniya so what is their sthana u pu pa varga and upadmaniya upadmaniya na oshtav so oshtav they are labial and oshtav is are two because we have two lips therefore both you use both for pakara for pa pha ba ba ma u and this uh, uh, punah punah you see both lips are used and that is their sthana that is the asyam nyamagana nam nasika cha so you see nyamagana nam nyamagana nam is a sutra you see the sutra varga panchama nya is this varga panchama of cha varga ma is of pa varga nya is of ka varga na is of uh, na is of power uh, of ta varga and na is of ta varga so all these varga panchamas are what nyamagana nam the sutra nyamagana nam so nyamagana nam nasika cha cha is also also what nasika so whatever is their sthana what is the sthana of this nyakara what is the sthana cha varga sthana and what is the cha varga sthana you go back and see what is this chu wherever you find chu chu is what ichu ichu yasha nam talu so talu is the cha varga cha varga letters sthana but here the fifth will be what except for the fifth fifth will have nasika also nasika cha so nya will be what talu nasika cha sthana for nya will be talu nasika cha for ma will be what ma is oshtav oshtav is sthana why because it is pa upu upadmaniyana pa varga letter makara is a varga panchama upu upadmaniyana oshtav and what will this be ma 
Makarasya. So if you separate Makara, you will say Makarasya Oshtav Nasikacha. What about Nya? Nya is Kavaraga. Therefore, Aku Visarjaniya na Kantha. So Kantha Nasikacha. Nakara is what? Nakara is Tavaraga. And we saw Ritu, Ritu Rashana Talu. Uh, Ritu Rashana Murdha. Ritu Rashana Murdha. So this is Murdha Nasikacha. Nakara is what? There you see uh, the Nakara is the <coughs> sorry. So Ichiyashana Apu uh, Nyamaganana. Oh, there is one missing, is it? So Ritu Rashana Danta. So I didn't separate it. So Ritu Rashana Danta. So this Ritu Rashana Tavarga. The Nakara is the Varga Pancham of Tavarga. So Takarasya Danta. Takarasya Dantaha Nasikacha. This is how you will interpret this sutra because Chakara is there. Whatever sthana has been given for the Varga Panchama, that plus Nasika. So nasalization of that. How do you pronounce Nyakara? Kakha Gaga Nya. So you say, whatever you say with Kakha Gaga Nya, you keep, keep the sthana same. Don't move the tongue, but nasalize it, you will get Nyakara. So this is what gives the Varga Panchama Shuddhi pronunciation. Shuddhi will be through nasalizing, not changing the sthana. Just keep the sthana at whichever varga it is, just nasalize it. Edaito ho kantha talu ho. Kantha talu. Uh, it is, talu is neuter. So kantha, kantha talu. What is kantha talu? Kantha and talu. Both. Kantha talu. Edaito. Edaito is what? Eight and aith. Eight, eight and aith. Aith. See, if this takara had not been, this takara is for pronunciation. Eight. This eighth takara and this eighth takara. Otherwise, A and I, you don't need takara really. It is brought in so that there is no sandhi between ekara and aikara. Otherwise, there will be a sandhi. Ekara, aikara, sandhi will be there and we will not know what it means. So, takara is added here for only for pronunciation and then A de toho is what? It is shashti divachana. Shashti, div, shashti divachana. So, there asyam is what? Kantha talu. Kantha and talu. A and O, I and O, when you pronounce them four, you use kantha as well as talu because wherever you say cha, that's where your tongue would be hanging. Okay, so uh, Ed e toho kantha talu. So there is a question here as to what is the difference between uh, what is the difference? Anunasika and Mukhanasika Sutra. See, Mukhanasika is saying Mukhanasika Vachana. Anunasika is what? Anunasika is nasalization, but Anunasika is what? That following the nasalization, the vowel which is being talked about, that is, there is an Anunasika there. Mukhanasika here in this, the Nasika is nasalization. Anunasika is the, the letter which is pronounced. Nasika is the sthana. Anunasika is what you get when you use Nasika. Nasika is, this, uh, is the sthana or the, uh, here it is said what? Nasika cha. So when you say Nasika cha, what is the sthana of the, uh, of Kavarga is Kantha. There you use nasalization and then you will get what? Then that will be pronounced as Varga Panchama of the Kavarga. But Anunasika is what? The Mukhanasika, Vachanonu, Anunasika. There Anunasika is Mukha and Nasika both are used, that is Anunasika. Here Nasika Cha is being said as whatever is used, their Mukha is not specified, Mukha is included of course, because Sthana is, whatever Sthana has been said, that Sthana is Asyam, Mukhe Bhavam Asyam. But Anunasika is what? Anunasika is that which is pronounced using Mukha and Nasika both. So this, when you use Nasika, what you get here, this Nyamagadana, only for these letters, when you use Nasika, you will get the right pronunciation. These are not anuna, Anunasika. These will not be called as Anunasika. Anunasika is a vowel. There it is a vowel. Here it is Nasika when you use for a consonant, then you will get the pron right pronunciation. So this is Isthana. Nasika is Isthana. And Mukha Nasika, Mukha Sahita Nasika, when you use for a vowel, you will get Anunasika. Is that clear? Similarly here, Odautoho, so, sorry, Eteto, Eteto, when I say Eteto is what? 
ए एंड आई कारा ए एंड आई कारा ए आई तो हो कंठतालु इन दी एच देर इज अ स्प्लिट मेड ए आई एंड ओ आउ सो ए आई हैव व्हाट कंठतालु दे टंग वुड बी हैंगिंग समवेर नियर दी पैलेट एट दी पैलेट एंड कंठा इज यूज्ड फॉर दी वोवेल प्रोनंसिएशन दैट अलोंग विद दिस तालु यू विल गेट ए एंड आई व्हाट अबाउट ओ एंड ओ हियर अगेन द स्तकारा ओ द उतो इज ओत एंड औत ओदौत So kantha is not sufficient. By vowel you will get uh, vowel pronunciation. You get by kantha. You just open the kantha or construct the kantha as much as you need and just utter, just make a sound. You will get o o. So you see, when the child is born, the the simplest thing to utter is the vowel. So the cry is a vowel. It's actually a e u. All this is all. It's a vowel. It just comes out because you, the first thing to open is the kantha. And the just voice just comes out, and you you'll get o o the out all this crying of the child you'll get this a a e e whatever the, the, there's a variation in the cry that is just a voice that is co- coming from the kantha the child does not know which to where to limit to make an utterance and then over a period of time the child learns so here o o the o o and o o and o what is their sthana of these two vowels. Content osta osta also has to be used. The lips have to be used to get this o and o sound. Vakara se danto ostam vakara. So vakara is what not only danta or osta separately. It has to be together. You see, v when you say the upper row of the teeth touches the lower lip and you get vakara. So danto osta is this thana asyam. Jivha mulya se jivha mulam. Let's look at this separately, just like we saw. Upad mania. You have jivha mula also. Jivha mula is the mula of the jivha. The mula of the tongue is the is actually at the throat itself. The, uh, the tongue comes is joint at somewhere around the throat. So jivha mula is that. And what is jivha mula in the uh, jivha mula is the visarga with a k or followed by a k and visarga followed by a k. This is where you get this this visarga. Preceding the kakara or khakara is called as as uh, jivha mula, and here also when you pronounce it, it should not be pronounced separately. Visarga should not be pronounced separately and then k. It should be pronounced together, and it is like a ardha visarga. The pronunciation is like ardha visarga. There is no complete like punaha punaha is complete visarga. Puna punaha is ardha visarga, but that is with a khakara uh, pronunciation. That is called as what? Upadmaniya. Here, this visarga is called a jivha mula. So, wherever the jivha mula, there itself, at the bottom of the tongue itself, at the root of the tongue, the voice is stopped. So, you say, uh, say uh, Rama Krishna. So, Rama and Rama Krishna cha. So, Rama, Rama, Rama. You say that that ak is what that where kakara is at the kantha, and there itself the jivha mula at the root of that the voice is constricted. Where at uh, k or k when k or k follows that is called a jivha mula. So jivha mula is the jivha mula. What is the sthana? Jivha mula itself is the sthana, and by that itself it derives the name as jivha mula. Jivha mula sambandhi. Jivha mula sambandhi. Jivha mula. Tadhita. Nasika anuswarasya. So anuswara. What is the pronunciation of anuswara? Anuswara's pronunciation is what? Nasika, Nasika. Anuswara is pronounced only by Nasika. So when you say Anuswara, so Anuswara is you say say uh, let's say Ramam, Ramam Shankaram. So Shankaram, Cha Namami. So I make the sentence Ramam Shankaram Cha Namami. So Ramam, this is actually Ramam, and then it has become Anuswara. 
this anuswara how do you pronounce this anuswara when shakara follows when shakara follows shakara does not have savarna savarna is not there we'll see we'll we will be we'll see that when we reach there but that's the example here let's say ramam so you don't say ramam shankaram lot of people say ramam shankaram cha that is not correct but this uh, it is lost in the tradition most people do not know how to pronounce this it should be ra not ramam makara should not be heard here at all makara should be heard only before that vowel a which is of the rama that that makara should be not ramam shankaram cha but ramam so here it's okay you can in a sentence it's still okay if it is uh, a sentence as in you have a choice whether to pause here if you pause you can make this as ramam also but if you do not pause if there is a sandhi between these two then this should be what ramam so ramam this will become this will be actually become ramancha pronunciation will be ramancha we'll see that later but the example our example is what our example there is this uh, this an anuswara how is this anuswara to be pronounced ramam ramam shankarancha so you should just nasalize it that's it nasika anuswarasya this anuswarasya nasika is this sthana so discovers the asyam what is yatnah prayatna so uh, yatnah yatnah has not been said here prayatna has been said prakrushta yatnah prayatna here we saw prakrushta yatnah prakrushta yatnah prayatnah that has been said in tulyasya prayatnam but to land on prayatna both yatnas are to be mentioned and here the uh, lagukara takes this opportunity to mention the yatnas what are the yatnas yatno dvida yatnah dvida is of two types yatna is of two types what is abhyantara bahyascha abhyantara internal and bahya external adyah panchada adyah is what per the earlier abhyantara abhyantara yatnah is what panchada is of five types sprishta i'll just uh, split this otherwise actually it is sprishtesha sprishtesha vivruta vivruta samruta bheda this is how you would read it if you do not break it otherwise it will be what sprishta it is sprishta ishat sprishta ishat vivruta then vivruta samruta bheda this is the this are the padas here so what are the, what are the five types of abhyantara bahya uh, abhyantara yatna the effort inside is of five types sprishta sprishta is when there there is some touching there the tongue is touching something sprishta isha sprishta so isha sprishta is actually if you see sprishta is uh, completely touching really so completely touching isha sprishta is touching a little isha sprishta is touching a little isha vivruta is little open the mouth is little open vivruta is mouth is completely almost completely open samruta is it is closed mouth is kind of closed it is not as in completely closed but this is for vowels for the vowels you will see vivruta or samruta in vivruta the vowel is what if you pronounce a or pluta a like a like singing or dvimatrika dvimatrika a e is all vivruta you will keep the mouth open samruta is when you constrict it really akara so rama rama is what you do. mouth is not completely open rama in south you will say rama in north the vowel itself is not heard so you say ram not ram the akara is not pronounced really what neither that completely south indian pronunciation nor completely north indian indian pronunciation words rama akara that is samruta akara is samruta it is uh, not completely open mouth here this this is talking about the where the tongue is so sprishta whether it is really touching isha sprishta touching a little or isha vivruta here with vivruta vivruta it means com open completely here it means somewhat somewhat open and we may ask somewhat touching and somewhat open are they are they not same they are not same because what is being focused on is whether it is the effort should be towards closing the mouth a little or uh, separating the tongue a little or to open the mouth a little so where the effort is from that perspective it is said whether it is ishat sprishta or ishat vivruta all these will be explained as to which falls in which category 
तत्र स्पृष्टम प्रयत्न वॉट इज स्पृष्टम प्रयत्न इट इज अभ्यंतर इंटरनल एफर्ट एंड इंटरनल एफर्ट फर्स्ट टाइप इज वॉट स्पृष्ट वॉट इज स्पृष्ट स्पर्शाना स्पर्शा नाम स्पृष्ट स्पर्शा नाम वेर एवर देर इज टच द टंग टच इज सो क ख ग घ यू सी द टंग इज टचिंग समवेर दैट इज स्पर्श सो कंठ इट टच इज द टंग टच इज द कंठ द टिप ऑफ द टंग मे नॉट टच बट दी रूट ऑफ द टंग इज ऑलवेज एट द कंठ सो यू सी एट द कंठ देर इज स्पर्श एंड क वर्ग हैज ए ट वर्ग हैज सम टच एट मूर्धा दी च वर्ग हैज द टच एट द पैलेट then and so on and so forth all the all the varga or the all the class consonants they are sparsha so sparsha naam meaning of the class so varga varga varna naam so varga varna naam sprishtam prayatnam prayatna is sprishta isha sprishta who has a little little sprishta antasthana naam what are antasthana antastha are एंड वर्क सो यू लुक एट अंतस्थ इज इन दयावर सूत्र हयवर लंड इन दैट सूत्र यू रिमूव दी हकार य व र एंड ल आर अंतस्थ विचार कर सेमी वॉवेल्स ऑल्सो यू हैव इन इंग्लिश यू से सेमी वॉवेल्स सो अंत अंतस्थ अंतस्थ वर्णा हैव वॉट ईशद पृष्ठ प्रयत्न ईशद विवृत्त ऊष्मा so what are ushma again all these are also be going to be talked about what are utar ushma shasasar hal in the last two sutras shasasar and hal in those sutras what are the letters sh 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 so you have a talavya shakara murdhanya shakara and dantya shakara then you have hakara the hakara which was left out from the hayavara sutra for antastha that is included in the last sutra in hal and those four together shashasar and hal those four letters in shashasar and hal last two sutras those are those are ushma ushma varnas vivrutam swaranam all the swaras all the vowels are vivruta when you are uh, pronouncing a vowel that time the mouth is wide open of course i mean based on the person it may not be completely wide and so on but then it is supposed to be open the mouth is kept open you don't close the mouth and utter a vowel you don't even constrict the so it is kept open there is no blocking uh, in the when you are pronouncing vowels inside there may be there may be some blocking to uh, change the uchcharana but swarana vivrutam but this is on the this is, this will be changed finally this will be changed for uh, for the hraswa akara it will be changed hraswasya so hraswasya avarnasya prayoge samrutam so this is where it is changed so this is what this is an utsarga this is a general rule all swaras have have vivruta abhyantara prayatna abhyantara yatna is vivruta prayatna is vivruta but hraswa avarnasya therefore not rama but rama that rama is the the prayatna has to be constricted you have to keep your mouth closed after a while you don't keep it open you utter it and then you have to close it you have to pull it back you have to say only a uh, not a uh. so people say a a a they don't say they say a a not a a mouth is not open in a uh. in our e e is right e wherever however you pronounce e you just have dvimatrika and you will get e but if you say a uh, then a is not dvimatrika of a uh. not exactly two matras of a uh. you can't say a a a that is not a uh. a is completely open mouth vivruta but a uh is what a uh is the only one where you don't have vivruta so therefore a uh and not a uh, a uh. not a a a but a a a so a and a there should be differentiation made and lot of people do not know even in vaidikas you see a a a the pronunciation a rama not rama rama so rama is so akara is samruta however this swarana vivrutam when it is said this is needed because there is something called savarna dirga sandhi so if you see here If you look at say Savarna Dirga Sandhi between in this sutra itself, 
और अर्लियर सूत्र तुल्या से प्रयत्न सवर्ण शेष तुल्या से तुल्य आस्य तुल्या से प्रयत्न सो प्रयत्न लेट्स जस्ट प्रिट इट हियर प्रयत्न इफ यू आर लुकिंग एट दिस देन व्हाट इज दिस तुल्य तुल्य इज व्हाट तुल यकारा एंड देन देयर इज एन अकारा एंड देयर इज अ संधि बिटवीन अ एंड आ देन देयर इज स्य प्रयत्न so if i split it this way then this a and a so akara of tulya and akara of asya how do you get tulyasya how is it that you get tulyas tul a and sya prayatnam how do you get this there is something called as so, uh, most of us know what is savarna dirga sandhi so it is savarna dirga this akara here and this akara here are savarna how are they savarna by the earlier sutra that we saw this sutra is what tulyasya prayatnam savarnam the sutra that we are seeing tulyasya prayatnam savarnam the asya and prayatna is same for which two letters they will be savarna and they alone will have this savarna dirga only if there is savarna you in the sandhi you can meet dirga so here how do you get dirgha adesha in this a and a they have to be savarna without savarna you cannot make savarna dirgha the savarna dirgha will be what this it will become a as savarna dirgha of akara is akara and thereby a and a will both be replaced replaced by purva savarna which is a how do you get that unless this this uh, this if it is samruta if the आभ्यंतर प्रयत्न प्रयत्न इज समृत फॉर अकारा एंड फॉर आकारा इट इज व्हाट विवृत स्वराण विवृत इट इज सेड बट ह्रस्व अवर्ण से ऑफ दिस अवर्ण विच इज ह्रस्व मीट मीन अकारा दिस अकारा इज मेड एज समृत इफ दिस दिस अकारा इज समृत एंड आकारा इज विवृत आकारा इज विवृत अकारा इज समृत देन हाउ कैन यू गेट सवर्ण दीर्घ दे आर नॉट सवर्ण एट ऑल because savarna means the prayatna should be same and prayatna is abhyantara abhyantara yatna stana is same o and a have the same stana a because aku akuha visarjaniya nam kantha kantha is the stana what about the prayatna prayatna for akara is savar uh, samruta and akara is vivruta thereby they cannot be savarna and you will not get a savarna dirga sandhi if the prayatnas are really different now the prayatnas are different in the world but in the vyakarana sutras they are they are swar swaras prayatna is considered as vivruta so this hraswasya avarnasya prayoge samrutam this actually comes from the last sutra of the panini ashtadhyayi the last sutra says a a so how do you get this till here for to make the savarna dirga sandhi you need akara and akara to be having savarna samya and savarna samya will come only when their prayatna is same although their uh, sthana is same still prayatna is not same but in the vyakarana sutras their prayatna is also same it is vivrutam only to make the this samya savarna samya for ak savarne dirgha that savarna dirgha sandhi in that akara and akara hai savarna savarnam because they are both vivruta the last sutra which is a uh, a uh, i'll just show you the sutra uh, there's no no need to see it is just the sutra says a uh, a uh. there is a sutra a uh, a uh. that's all and then there is iti this iti is the ashtadhyayi sutra pata ends this is the last sutra 4000 sutra says a uh, a uh. and this a uh, is actually uh, in the sutra you can have uh, the cases may be dropped this is actually asya asya ah akarasya ah the sutra means akarasya ah a a last sutra says what akarasya a and what this means really is that akara which was vivruta in the sutra patha that akara is now samruta so this rasvasya avarnasya prayoge samrutam the prayoga is samruta when prayoga is done in sutra patha there is no prayoga done there technical 
sutras are written for making technical rules and prayoge is not when in the rules in the prakriya avastha so prayoge is not in the prakriya avastha prakriya is when you are deriving using sutras in that avastha akara is vivruta but prayoge is in non prakriya avastha which is outside outside the sutra pata it will be samruta by this sutra uh, uh. so a uh, says what akarasya which was akarasya vivrutasya akarasya now a uh, uh is what samruta a uh. vivrata akarasya samruta a uh. now a uh, samrutam it will become samruta so one should not say rama one should not say rama one should say rama so that akara is samruta okay some child is crying so we have a uh, background noise so what it says here prakriya dashayam tu vivrutam eva therefore prayoge samrutam akara but prakriya dashayam tu prakriya dashayam is in the sutra pata and here why this is so is because uh, this is what is the last sutra is in what is called as a as a, uh, tripadi i have already said that the ashtadhyay has eight chapters and each of them has four quarters each chapter has four quarters which are called as padas and tripadi is the the combination of the last three padas last three padas means 8.2 8.3 and 8.4 these padas are called as tripadi and the first seven chapters with the first pada 8.1 of the eighth chapter they are called as uh, non tripadi non tripadi means the sapada sapada ashtadhyayi that ashtadhyayi is divided into two parts sapada ashtadhyayi so this is what is sapada sapada is along with one quarter along with one quarter sapada sapada ashtadhyayi Sap, sapada ashtadhyayi is the sapta so the sapta adhyayi the seven with sapada sapada ashtadhyayi sapada sapta adhyayi so sapada sapta adhyayi is what seven padas uh, seven chapters along with one pada of the eighth chapter so you have sapada ashtadhyayi sapada सप्ताध्यायी एंड प्लस दिस वन लास्ट वन इज इज त्रिपादी लास्ट थ्री सो दिस इज व्हाट सेवन चैप्टर्स सेवन प्लस एट डॉट वन एंड दिस इज व्हाट एट डॉट टू टू एट डॉट फोर so these four padas are called as tripadi and the first are sapada saptadhyayi if seven chapters with one pada of, and what is the difference here whatever is said in these sutras incrementally from 8.2.1 onwards till 8.4.68 which is the last sutra this is 8.4.68 8468 last sutra so whatever is said here in 8.2.1 onwards this is not visible to the earlier sutras and even within the tripadi from 8.2.1 to 8.4.68 each earlier sutra cannot see the karya of the later sutras we'll see this i'm just mentioning this and to explain what a uh, a uh, uh, means so a uh, a uh, says what a uh, a uh, says that this rasvasya avarnasya prayoge samrutam that is what it means अकारस्य विवृत अकारस्य नाउ अ समृत अकार भवति अकार समृत भवति व्हाट इज अकार व्हिच वाज सो फार विवृत इज नाउ समृत सो फार मींस व्हाट ऑल द सूत्रस ऑल द 3999 सूत्रस कंसीडर दिस अकार एज विवृत बट आफ्टर दिस लास्ट सूत्र व्हेन दिस कार्य इज नॉट सीन बाय द अदर सूत्रस एंड all the other sutras will see the akara as vivruta therefore they can make this savarna sanya because akara is also vivruta kantha and vivruta akara is also kantha and vivruta the sthana and prayatna thereby we get savarna sanya and therefore savarna dirgha akara and akara are replaced by akara so you get tulyasya prayatnam and thereby you get tulyasya tulyasya prayatnam and after this in the world when you use prayoge prayoge samrutam akara become samruta and that, that is the last sutra this is what so what is called as tripadi has the first sutra which says 
इट से पूर्वत्र असिद्धम इट से पूर्वत्र असिद्धम पूर्वत्र असिद्ध इज ऑल द कार्य ऑफ द त्रिपादी इज पूर्वत्र अरियर इट इज असिद्धम दे फॉर अ अ इज असिद्धम टू ऑल द अरियर सूत्रास दिस इज हाउ यू गेट समृद्ध एंड विवृता फॉर अकारा इन द प्रयत्न एंड इन द सॉरी इन द प्रक्रिया अवस्था एंड प्रयोग सो प्रक्रिया दशायां तु विवृतम एव बाह्य प्रयत्न प्रयत्न तु एकादशधा सो देर आर द एकादश बाह्य प्रयत्न आर वॉट बाह्य प्रयत्न तु एकादशधा देर आर इलेवन टाइप्स ऑफ बाह्य प्रयत्न सो फार वॉट दिस इज वॉट और दिस इज वॉट आभ्यंतर प्रयत्न नाउ बाह्यांतर बाह्य प्रयत्न स्टार्ट अंतर प्रयत्न इज ओवर अंतर यत्न अंतर यत्न इज कॉल्ड एज प्रयत्न इन दी तुल्या प्रयत्न सूत्र दट प्रयत्न वर्ड्स इज अभ्यंतर प्रयत्न वॉट इज दि बाह्य यत्न ऑल दो इट इज ए बाह्य प्रयत्न इट इज बाह्य यत्न दिस प्र मीन्स आभ्यंतर बट स्टील इवन इफ इट इज सेड एज प्रयत्न स्टील दिस एडिंग बाह्य कन्वर्ट्स इन टू एक्सटर्नल एफर्ट सो अ बेटर रीडिंग वुड बी बाह्य यत्न सो इन वन पार्ट दिस इज बाह्य यत्न टू एकादशधा As of eleven types, what are these eleven types? Vivara, Samhara, Shwaso, Nado, Ghosha, Aghosha, Alpa Prana, Mahaprana, Udatta, Anudatta, Swarita, Chaiti. So there are eleven. Vivara, Samhara, Shwasa. So Vivara, Samhara, Shwasa, Nado, Ghosha, Aghosha, Alpa Prana, Mahaprana, Udatta, Anudatta, Swarita, Chaiti. I'll I'll uh, not explain each of these now. Let's look at how they are used. This, this is a sanya. This sanya is are used for khara, khara, vivara, shwasa, agoshascha. Khara is what? This is a pratyahara. Pratyahara means it is a short form made from the Maheshwara Sutras. Khar, khar is a khara. Kharo, vivara means khara. For khar, shasti ek vachana. Khara, khara, khara. is what vivaraah shwasaah agoshascha and what is khar khapa chhata ta chhata tau kapai shashasar by these sutras what you get that is khar so kh kh ph ch th th ch t t k p sh sh s all these are what these these will have बाह्य प्रयत्न विल बी विवारा श्वासा अगोशाच ओके एनी वे आई थिंक आई नीड टू मेन्शन दिस नो विवार दिस कैन जस्ट बी टेकन संज्ञा एंड वी कैन मूव ऑन विवार श्वासा अगोशाच बट दी बुक एक्सप्लेन इट समेर एज टू वॉट दीज आर सो आई जस्ट टच अप ऑन इट Just a second. If you can lost the page. <laughs> so vivara. So what is vivara? <clears throat> the <clears throat> vivara means the opening of the mouth. Now we saw opening of the mouth is a prayatna. Internal effort is what. The touching, based on the touching, vibrutam. We see vibrutam. So what is seen as vibrutam? Swaranam vibrutam. Similarly, now the opening of the mind, out, uh, the mouth outside is called as vivara. <coughs> so it is vivara. What is vivara? Vivara means no. I am not. Uh, uh, so there is a request to open the image, but then I am not talking about the categorization. I am explaining what is vivara. vivara what is vivara ha vivara means opening of the mouth that is vivara and externally external effort is what when you open the mouth whatever is outside that prayatna is that yatna is by uh, yatna ha and that is one type is vivara ha that opening of the mouth and <clears throat> when pronouncing some letters you have to open the mouth therefore they have बाह्य प्रयत्न इज विवार एंड वॉट इज दैट विवार खर वेन इज ए ख ख ख फ छ दैट टाइम द माउथ इज ओपन एंड देर इज सम 
effort needed outside kh kh onwards kh pha kh pha chatata chatata kapai shasasar for that the mouth is you see that is vivara vivara yatna that is called as vivara yatna shwasa what is shwasa <coughs> the the breathing there is a breathing effort needed you see that shwasa is needed for kh kh you see some additional breath is needed there kh ph ch you see the breath goes out that is that is the shwasa so prayatna bahya prayatna is also shwasa you see uh, as though you are breathing out through the mouth then aghosha what is ghosha so that uh, the, there is some kind of vibration so we say ghoshana ghoshana is some you know this this announcement but then ghosha is what ghosha is in that there is some uh, what do you say in hindi is gunjan gunjana so you say that there, there is some vibration of the sound so this kh when you say kh there is some vibration of the sound that is that is the prayatna there some some kind of vibration is needed there uh, as in that effort is needed for vibrating the sound that is that is ghosha but here here there is it is not needed that is aghosha na ghosha aghosha na jat purusha then samvara samvara is closing of the mouth when the uh, mouth is not completely open not needed for pronouncing those letters so hasha samvara nada ghoshascha what is hash hash is a pratyara hayavarat lan nyamagananam jabai ghadadash jabagadadash till there so from hayavara to jabagada dash what letters are covered all those are what samharaha nadaha ghoshascha so there is some vibration needed there and samvara the the mouth need not be closed open completely and then nada there is some nada is you know there is some gambhiryam uh, is needed so there is dhvani becomes a little gambhira when you talk jabagada dash so hayavar so gambhirya is needed that kind of gambhirya that kind of mood goes into that that is called as nada so that is needed there varganam pratham tritiya panchama yanascha alpa pranaha varganam pratham tritiya panchama what are the pratham tritiya panchama for ka varga ka then you drop the kh k g and k kh g g g so k k kh kh is maha prana k is alpa prana then tritiya is what k kh g g is alpa prana gh is maha prana k k so k g and ny which is nasal i pratham tritiya panchama in k varga similarly ch 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 is maha prana ch ch j ch j and ch j and ny ch j and ny will be pratham tritiya and panchama and so on for each of the vargas of the class consonants the first third and fifth are what alpa prana ha also yan yan is what in haya varat you start from yan ya so yan is what ya var la ya var la this what i call as semi vowels ya ra la va are are yan and there also they are alpa prana ha varganam dvitiya chaturthu shalascha maha prana ha you maha prana so maha prana more prana is needed more breath is needed for what dvidi and chaturtha of the varga so ka kh g gh ny in that kh and gh you pronounce g and use maha prana you will get gh you pronounce k and use maha prana you will get kh so dvitiya chaturtha second and fourth of the class are what maha prana they uh, prayatna is maha prana and shalascha shalascha is shal for shal also shal is what sh sh s sh s s hal sh s s hal in that refa is not to be used sh s s refa is halantyam it and in hal also lakara is it so content is what sh sh s and h these four letters are what or also mahaprana you need mahaprana there ka deyo maswana ha sparsha earlier it has been said what was said earlier that uh, here it was said tatras tatra among these whatever has been said adya panchada among those prayatnam sparshanam what was said sparsh this sparshanam sprishtam prayatnam sparshanam what are sparsha so that is also explained by the uh, vritti itself he says kadayo maswan mavasanaha 
kadayo mavasanaha sparshaha what are sparshaha sparshas are have sprishtam prayatnam is sprishtam and what are these sparsha sparsha varnas kadayah kadaye starting with ka aadi yeshamte kakaraha aadi yeshamte and mavasana makaraha avasana yeshamte they are mavasana both are bahuri so starting with ka starting with kakara and ending with makara what are these basically class consonants ka varga starting with ka varga starting with kakara in ka varga ka kh gh g ny then ch ch j j ny ta tha dha dha na ta tha dha dha na and pa pha ba ba ma that ma in the end the 25th letter in the five classes is ma is at the end avasana at the culmination ending with makara so starting with kakara ending with makara are the five classes so 25 consonants are sparshaha and sparshana prayatnam sprishtam earlier it has been said what are antastaha antastha we have seen antastha what are antastha but this su- the sutra vritti itself says yano antastaha yani antastha ya var la the semi vowels are called as antastaha shalaha ushmanaha shalaha ushmana shal shashasa and ha these are ushmanaha acha swaraha acha swara acha vowels are swaraha vowels are swaraha swara as in swara is there what has been said is there categorization is swara ach vowels ach ach are vowels then this this is what upadmaniya upadmaniya uh, sorry not upad upadmaniya jivha mulya jivha mulya is what akh akh and akh 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 so kh 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 na kh kh iti kh kh so it's difficult to pronounce without something preceding i'll just said a uh, so akh akh and akh for akh and akh what is this iti kakha vyam prag ardha visarga sadrush jivha mulya what is jivha mulya really jivha mulya is prag kakha vyam prag before k and kh so prag this is panchami divachana because prag will govern panchami so this is panchami divachana before before what prag before k and kh before kakara and kakara prag what is that ardha visarga so prag ardha visarga as uh, uh, ardha visarga sadrusha when you write also you will write only if you make uh, visarga is one round and ardha visarga will be half round so they are written as half round vertically uh, horizontally cut if you cut a circle horizontally the top of from the top circle uh, of the visarga and from the bottom circle of the visarga you remove the lower half then you will get ardha visarga so ardha visarga sadrusha similar to ardha visarga as do pronunciation is also like ardha visarga jivha mulya that is jivha mulya what about this visarga before pakara pakara so uh, punah punah what is here punah af 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 both will sound similar af af iti pafabhyam pafabhyam prak before pakara and pakara the visarga will be what ardh visarga sadrusha that is also ardh visarga sadrusha pronunciation is called upadmaniya and that is upadmaniya here also the way it is written is also uh, if you look up you will see some weird symbols there in the, in the books horizontally and uh, sometimes you see a little different symbol or just writing visarga and pakara uh, you can say it is upadmaniya that is upadmaniya what about am and aha am is here you see anunasika no, sorry anuswara anuswara and aha is this visarga what is visarga am and aha iti achah parah para para anuswara visarga para so para anuswara visarga is what para para anuswara visarga dual so para which are later what are what is later this this what do you see later after akara and after akara here the visarga after akara and what is after akara here that that is anuswara anuswara and visarga this is visarga the symbol here after akara is visarga and this symbol after akara on top of it so the symbol on top of it but in pronunciation it is after akara that is called as anuswara a uh, a uh, and a a a is that a uh, nasalization of that akara is after akara that is called as anuswara and this the visarga after the, whatever is pronounced after a uh, here in aha uh, that is visarga 
So Anuswara Visargo. So we spent uh, the entire uh, time on this sutra because this is important. Based on this, you will find Savarnam. Based on these, you will know what is Savarna and when Savarna Adesha is given or something is to be replaced, the closest in pronunciation, Sthana has to be found out, closest in pronunciation, the pronunciation, the uh, uh, Yatna has to be found out, then this is the most important sutra and this will be applicable across the sutra pata. So this is an important sutra, it takes time to understand these technical words and uh, to understand what exactly is being said here and how that is used, this will come in time. So we can look up the chart. And either we know the sutras or we look up the chart or we know by, by, uh, by learning the language itself, we know that this is how the replacement is in Sandhi, especially in the Sandhi Karya. We look at the next sutra tomorrow and then we will hopefully speed up. Nritavasane nataraja rajo nana dadakkan navapanchavaram Uddhar tukamasanaka disidhan heta dvimarshe shiva sutra jalam Om Tatsat. Any questions? Yes. 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 Yes.